In this Monday's Print Tips, we're covering ghosting, also known as ringing or echoing. This is when you see a duplicate of your outer wall effects, like a shadow or a spooky ghost on your print. There are three main culprits for ghosting. One, having your accelerations or jerk settings set too high. Two, having too loose or too tight of belts. Or three, you have a printer with no dampening at all and you just bolted it right into the ground. Now onto the first point of having too high of accelerations or jerk settings, this is normally for older style printers that don't have input shaper or vibration compensation. This is exactly why new printers have vibration compensation or input shaper. It's to reduce the effects of ghosting. Now, if you have an older style printer that doesn't have input shaper or vibration compensation, then you're going to want to reduce your acceleration settings. I would suggest setting them under 3000 millimeters per second squared. Onto the second point, just like loose lips sink ships, loose belts can sink your print. Not to be confusing on this, but also too tight of belts can also kind of cause some echoing or ghosting. So there's no real metric here. Just make sure that your belt is springy to the touch, but not so tight that it's being stretched. And then onto that third point of having no vibration dampening. As mentioned, you don't want to just take your print and bolt it into the concrete floor because there are going to be no dampening going on at all. And this is one of the reasons why so many printers now will come with soft cushions that you put under the feet. We would definitely suggest putting some of those soft cushions underneath your printer feet if you haven't already. It can go a long way to help reduce ghosting. Just one other note that ghosting is worse when you have a really heavy carriage. So for instance, on a bed slinger with a 10 pound build plate, you're gonna have much worse ghosting than on a Core XY printer with a Bowden setup and a really light hot end. So make sure you follow these tips and you're never gonna have to worry about spooky ghosts in your 3D prints ever again.